welcome back to my channel it has been a while i wanted to film this video just to update you guys and hang out for a bit kind of gonna treat this like it's a facetime call so i'm gonna fix my breakfast while i update you guys also nobody judge me i'm having grape nuts i feel like these are like the grandma cereal of all cereals i always had these when i was little so they're like super nostalgic for me and i've been eating them all the time recently so you may have noticed that i have not posted in like a month which i am so not happy about i did not intend to take a break i didn't even want to if it were completely up to me i would not have missed a week but as you guys know i work with brands sometimes because this is my job and basically after you work with a brand and you like finish filming and editing the video you have to send it in for approval like you can't just post it obviously and sometimes brands are really fast with approval and they have like no edits that they want to make but then other times brands can be a little slower and have more edits and so i have three videos ready the very first one i have to make some changes to and i can't upload the others until the first one is ready i won't go into all the details explaining it but it might be a while because i have to wait for something to get shipped to me and then refilm some stuff but anyways yeah that meant i couldn't post the two videos i had ready for after that because it just wouldn't really make sense in that order but now none of my videos are gonna make sense because they're gonna be kind of out of order so it's gonna be a little weird like in the videos i filmed it was before the time change i had like dyed my hair and it looked really bad that's in one of the videos but i fixed it so yeah things are just gonna be kind of like in a weird order so please bear with me for the next few videos it doesn't really matter that much honestly just there might be some things that are like confusing here and there it's literally not a big deal at all but i just wanted to fill you guys in i'm gonna take my vitamin right now i just kind of got over a cold it was a really random really quick one i don't know exactly how i got it probably just from one of my classes but the second i started feeling like symptoms even if they were really small i started taking cold medicine and i feel like that helped so much with like getting over it quickly also you guys i got a kindle here it is i like decorated it with some cute little stickers i posted a tiktok about it if you want to see i've been trying to be a little bit more active on instagram and tiktok just because i haven't been on youtube and i feel so bad but anyways i didn't have my kindle in the videos i pre-filmed either so you guys will see me reading like physical books and if you were wondering why i went back to physical books after i got my kindle i didn't it was just pre-filmed those are the things i'm talking about there's just little things that might happen like that with my upcoming videos and i know that 99 percent of people won't notice but it would be confusing for the one percent who did so i just wanted to clear that up i've been reading so much on this thing i've had it for a week as of today and i finished two books on it and i'm about to finish the third i'm reading the summer i turned pretty trilogy i'm on the third book right now i only have 48 minutes left of it i love that it tells you how many minutes you have left in the book and in the chapter i think that's why i read so much faster on it because i'll see that there's only like three minutes left in a chapter and i'm like oh i could read another chapter and then i end up sitting there for an extra like hour if you like to read i highly recommend getting a kindle it has just been so convenient for me so easy to hold if you put a pop socket on it and you can also change whether it's in light mode or in dark mode you can change the brightness you can change the warmth of the screen i have the paper white version if you were wondering so it's so easy to read in bed at night because i can full-on lay down all of the lights are off and be reading my book which is what i did last night which actually probably wasn't a good thing because i stayed up for probably like an hour later than i would have liked to but i also read in bed this morning because my book is just getting really good it's called we'll always have summer anyways i've been talking your guys ear off and i haven't even gotten close to finishing all the updates that i have like i said i want this video to be like a catch up facetime call type of thing i'm gonna get this up as soon as i possibly can because i miss you guys and i miss interacting with all of you in the comments and i just want to upload so bad but i'm gonna eat breakfast my book i was not expecting to finish it but i had less left than i thought i did so here is the entire summer i turned pretty series all finished it was pretty good clearly i liked it if i read three of them in one week i will say they were very easy reads they weren't like super long books or anything and they were just fun to read i love a cute little romance but they also just felt super childish i felt like i was like in middle school reading these it literally felt like a wattpad story if you know what i'm talking about anyways i was happy with how how it ended. I wish you got to
to see a little more. And if you've read the books, you'll know what I mean, but I need to figure out what I'm gonna read next. I have a bunch downloaded that were like free with Kindle Unlimited. I wanna read People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry because I really liked her last book. Also, I finished Bee Tree, which you'll see me reading in my next few videos, and it was so good, highly recommend. And I really liked her writing, so I wanna read one of her other books, but it's not free, so I might try to read my free ones first. Enough talking about reading because those of you who don't read watching this right now are probably bored to death. I woke up this morning and it was dark, which was so weird. I felt like I was up so early when in reality it was like 7.30, which is still really early for me, but not early enough to be like pitch black outside. So that was definitely weird. I'm gonna make myself some coffee. I'm so happy that it's now daylight savings time though. I feel like I thrive in the summertime. I'm sure most people feel the same way. I feel so much prettier in the summer and I feel like I can wear cuter outfits. I feel like a lot of people would disagree with that though because it can kind of be easier to dress in winter since you can like layer and in summer you can't really do that. But I just love wearing my cute little mini skirts and my tank tops and tube tops and all that kind of stuff. So I am so excited for summer. I don't know how much coffee to put in. I'll taste it first. It's a little too sweet. Okay, I feel like that's perfect. It's a rainy day today, which I am not very happy about. I absolutely hate having to drive in the rain, especially at night. And last week, I think it was raining when I was driving home. Maybe it was the week before that, I don't remember. But it was so scary. And I don't mean just like when it's sprinkling, that's totally fine. But it'll be like pouring rain on the freeway. And it makes me so nervous because people are going so fast and driving so like recklessly. It's time for my favorite part of the morning, which is getting ready. This morning, I ordered some stuff from Drip Avenue when I woke up, which is where my robe is from, if you were wondering. I finally got the fruit bag. I really want to get the one that's in the same print as my robe too, whenever it restocks. And then I got this really cute little like towel set. One of them is also the same pattern as my robe. And then the other one is like this cute little blue floral print. I really wanted to get more stuff, but I held back. Today I have a very long day of classes, which is why I'm doing a spend the morning with me instead of like a whole day in my life. Because whenever... I try to vlog on these days, it ends up just basically being a spend the morning with me because I just don't have time throughout the day to stop and vlog. I don't really have breaks between my classes like I did last semester, so I don't really get to like talk to you guys as much throughout the day if I'm filming. I've been liking my classes, but it's more just like the schedule that is driving me crazy. I just dread this day every week because this is just my long day and it's just exhausting. But I've learned that I can kind of trick my brain by telling myself to look forward to this day because once it's over I don't have to do it again for another six days. I do have class tomorrow too. It's just not as bad. It's a really fun class and it goes by really fast. I feel like time has been going by so fast recently which I don't mind because I have a lot of fun things coming up including spring break. I am so excited. My roommate and I are doing a little staycation in Malibu which is gonna be so fun. I'm debating which blush to use today. I think I'm gonna try the Charlotte Tilbury Hello Talk Matte Blush. I've used it before but I just haven't used it in a bit. These blend out so easily. It's such a gloomy day today. It feels so dark in my room right now. I'm gonna layer this blush and use this one as like a highlight. This is the Glowgasm Beauty Light one. I love Charlotte Tilbury so much. All of their products are genuinely so good. I'm gonna set my face with a powder puff today. Since I have a super long day, I want it to last and I feel like powder puffs really help with that. Also let me know in the comments how you guys are doing. I just want to chat with you guys. I'm setting my blush with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Beautifying Face face palette. I kind of just mix the shades together. That's the only thing I don't like about using cream blushes is that if you don't set it, it kind of just won't stay. Anyways, I'm the type of person who never really comments on YouTube videos, not like super often at least. I'm kind of just like one of those like silent viewers of everybody that I watch and I find that so interesting to think about because when thinking about my subscribers, I think about all the people that are like interacting with my stuff, but I know that like me personally, even with some of my favorite creators, I don't really interact with their stuff too much specifically in terms of leaving comments but I love their videos so much so I'm wondering are any of you guys silent viewers if you're a silent viewer leave a comment and tell me because I'm just so curious I feel like I always see like familiar faces in the profile pictures and comment sections but there's so many people who just don't comment and that's totally fine I feel like I've been watching so many shows recently I watched Outer Banks which I talked about in one of my pre-filmed videos before the 
new season even came out so that might be a little confusing but I finished that and it was really good I finished you season four which was just really weird I'm kind of over that show honestly I'm tired of just watching people die every episode but if you watched it let me know what you guys thought I'm also currently watching Daisy Jones and the Six because they made it into a show it's on Amazon Prime and it's pretty good so far also for mascara YSL sent me their mascara so we're gonna try it I have never owned anything YSL before I'm really hoping this is the brown one because I've seen oh never mind it's not I've seen ads for the brown one and it just looks so pretty oh my god this is so pretty this is what the brush looks like I do love a good fluffy brush Ooh. okay this is looking really good that's more like natural than I was expecting in a good way it's very lengthening and it's not clumpy at all okay here's the difference I think that this is actually a really good mascara I forgot to mention I'm also watching The Bachelor right now but you guys probably already knew that the hometowns episode just came out last night so I want to watch it today if I happen to have time I am running out of my little sample of my Fair Beauty highlight and I'm not sure if I want to buy the full bottle because I really love how the applicator on the mini one is so tiny I don't know why I always do my lips when I'm wearing a mask all day nobody's even gonna see this half of my face so I don't know why I go all out on my makeup I guess mostly just because it's like fun I do it for myself also I've been wanting to tell you guys about this setting spray this is the in the no setting spray with sunscreen I think I tried this in a video a while back but now I'm like fully using this as my setting spray because I ran out of my elf one I still have the same thought that the smell is not great it smells like paint but that goes away in like two seconds so I've learned not to mind it and I love that it has sunscreen in it I already have sunscreen on under my makeup but I do like just adding another layer of protection but the main thing I like about this is that it gives you the most beautiful glow look at that I like to focus it mainly on my cheeks which is kind of impossible since it's like a spray but I don't really spray my face like straight on I kind of just do the sides like that I guess but I feel like it makes you glowy in all the right places you just have to use the perfect amount because if you use too much it'll just make you look oily and if you want to tone it down a bit you can take a powder puff and just press in the places where you don't want it to be as shiny and it kind of tones it down a little bit but I think it looks so good so if you struggle with making your face look glowy this is for you now it's time for my hair which I think I'm just gonna straighten I was gonna curl it today but since it's raining I don't really want to mess with curling my hair because it'll just fall so I'm just gonna kind of like straighten some pieces I've also just been loving wearing my hair straight recently okay my hair is all straight or at least as straight as it's gonna get I'm gonna spray some of this shine spray on it it's by the brand Kenra I've only used this a couple times but so far I like it I feel like my hair looks a little bit dead after bleaching it and it takes away like the shine so hopefully this helps with that but let's pick out an outfit I have been having so much fun with picking out outfits recently that's kind of why I'm so excited for summer just everything I was talking about earlier I've just been very inspired recently when picking out my clothes for the day but sadly today since it's raining I have pretty limited options because I need to wear something with a hood preferably like a bigger hood and I only have like a few sweatshirts with hoods that I actually like because some sweatshirts just have the tiniest hoods that make you look like a 12 year old boy today we're going for comfort rather than style I think I'm gonna do this hoodie because it's just so comfy and if I'm gonna spend like seven hours sitting in a classroom today I want to be comfy <laughs> tomorrow is the day I can look cute and then I'm gonna wear my yoga pants and then I'm gonna do this t-shirt from PacSun because I haven't really gotten to wear it much and I think it's so cute and it's very like thin and comfortable I want to wear my Reeboks because the green matches my sweatshirt but I don't want these to get rained on so I'm just gonna go with my Air Forces okay I'm gonna change okay here's what the t-shirt looks like and then I have my yoga pants on I'm putting on deodorant before I throw on my hoodie all right hoodies on this is what I mean when I talk about hoods some of them are like this on my head I am throwing on some hand lotions my hands I feel like I've been so dry in the winter another reason I'm ready for spring and summer this is by the brand Natura Ecos I don't know how to say that this is the name right here but this stuff is so good it's so creamy and then for perfume today I think I'm gonna do my Glossier one. I love this perfume. This is like usually my go-to. This one feels most like me, if that makes sense. I technically don't have anything else to do until I leave for school, which is in two hours. I have so much more time than I thought. While I finish my coffee, I think I'm gonna edit some TikToks. Like I said, I have been trying to be more active on TikTok recently, and so I've just been filming like fun little things that I'm doing. Like I'll film myself making my coffee or opening a package or something, just so I can kind of like interact with you guys more. I've also been 
been posting on my Instagram stories a lot recently. Both of them are just my name. It's just at McKenna Salazar. I'll have the spelling on the screen, but I am going to edit those. If you are wondering how I edit my TikToks, which you probably aren't, but <laughs> on the off chance that you were, I used Final Cut Pro. Most people probably use apps like CapCut or even just like iMovie on their phones. For me, I like to use Final Cut because it's just what I'm used to. It's much easier for me to edit on a computer than it is on a phone because I feel like you can be so much more precise on a computer. I'm air dropping a video from my phone to my computer to import into Final Cut Pro. So here's the video. I'm just gonna chop it up and basically cut on all the action. I'll do a little time lapse. Okay, so I just did the rough cut. Now I go through and find a sound on TikTok. I always just add sounds to my favorites whenever I like them. I just scroll through and play a bunch until I find one that fits the video. And then once I do, I import it into Final Cut and then kind of clean up the video and edit it to the music a bit. And that's pretty much it. I add any text that I want to on the actual TikTok app or same with like Instagram reels because I don't think the algorithm likes when the video already has text on it. If that makes sense, like I wouldn't put text on it on Final Cut Pro because TikTok likes when you use their fonts and same with Instagram. So I usually keep all the fonts the same as the app that they're in, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna finish this one up and then there's one more after that that I quickly wanna edit. Okay, I finished the TikToks. If you wanna see them, go to my TikTok because the sound will get copyrighted on here and comment a tulip emoji if you are coming from YouTube. It's raining kinda of hard right now and I'm getting nervous. I really hope that it slows down by the time I have to leave for class. But since I don't really have breaks during the day, I kinda of have to make sure I have a pretty good amount of food before I leave because I just don't have a lot of time to eat on campus and being hungry in class is the worst. So on top of whatever like meals I'm eating, I like to have smoothies as like my drink just to like get as much in as possible. So today we have a banana and almond butter smoothie from Trader Joe's. I've never had this before, so I am really praying that it's good. It's like a protein shake. I will be so happy if this is good because it's just such an easy way to get more food in me. I can like drink it on the way to class. Ooh, okay, it smells good. Whoa, okay. It's a little weird, but I like it. It kind of just tastes like banana bread, but it's strange to drink it instead of eat it. Yeah, okay, it's good. Also, just know that I am in no way saying that this is replacing a meal. I will be putting actual food in my body because that's very important, but this is just on top of whatever I'm having. If I'm being honest, I do get a little bit nervous talking about like food-related things on YouTube because I know that it's a sensitive subject for a lot of people, and I just don't have the best eating habits, so I would never make a what I eat in a day or something because I am not like the healthiest eater and I don't really mind that. I don't eat like horrible, that's for sure. But yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Just know that whenever I talk about anything like that, I am referring to myself and only myself and not telling you guys what to do, what to eat, would never do that. I just wanna make that very clear because I hate when people make me feel judged for my eating habits and I would hate to make you guys feel like that too. Anyways, I will figure out something else to eat and I will update you guys. I'm probably just gonna hang out and watch The Bachelor for a bit. Since I have some extra time, I'm already dressed and ready for school and I'll update you guys later. Okay, it's a bit later. I just got my bag ready to go to school and I'm about to leave. I'm so glad that I was able to film this video this morning. I don't know why I've never really thought to do something like this where it's just such a casual, quick, easy vlog. Recently, I've been making my videos a little bit more like complex. They're not so just like casual as if we're on a FaceTime call like this one. They've just been a little bit more like planned out and stuff, but I really enjoy filming when it's like this because I feel just like more connected to you guys because I'm able to just fully, I was gonna say be myself, but I'm myself in all my videos. It's just less structure in these and sometimes it's more fun that way. So thanks for hanging out with me this morning and thank you for bearing with me while I figure out what's going on with my channel right now. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all very soon. Bye!